Hello friends, welcome again. And as promised, friend, today we will discuss few more important questions on mixture and elevation. So let's start. First question is: In an exam, Rahul attempted seventy-five questions and scored two hundred marks. For each correct answer, Rahul get four marks, and for each wrong answer, he get minus one mark, means negative marks. And find the total number of questions Rahul attempted correctly. So in this question, it is given that Rahul attempted seventy-five questions and scored two hundred marks. And for each correct answer, he got four marks, and for each wrong answer, he got minus one mark. And we have to find how many questions out of seventy-five he did correctly. So Rahul attempted seventy-five questions and scored two hundred marks. And for each correct answer, he got four marks. And for each wrong answer, he got minus one marks. So let's take wrong. We have wrong answer and correct answer. If all the question Rahul attempted are wrong, then he will get minus seventy five marks. That is seventy five into minus one. That is minus seventy five. And if all the question Rahul attempted are correct, then he will get seventy five into four. That is three hundred marks. But he scored two hundred marks. So we subtract two hundred from three hundred. That is three hundred minus two hundred is hundred. And seventy five minus two hundred is two hundred minus minus seventy five. That is two seventy five. So twenty five into four is hundred, and twenty five into eleven is two seventy five. So we get four ratio eleven. Four ratio eleven. Four plus eleven is fifteen. Means It means that out of fifteen questions, four are wrong and eleven are correct. And we have to find the correct answer. So eleven by fifteen and total questions are seventy-five. That is seven. So fifteen one the fifteen, fifteen five the eleven five the fifty-five. That is fifty-five answers are correct. And we can also find the wrong answer. Wrong answer will be four. Four out of fifteen are wrong, and total questions are seventy-five. So fifteen and fifteen same five. Four five is twenty. Twenty questions are wrong and fifty-five are correct. We can also check that fifty-five plus twenty is seventy-five. So our answer is correct. That is our answer. Now we move on to the second question. Second question is. In a village, total population is five thousand. After one year, number of male increases by ten percent, and number of female increases by fifteen percent, and population becomes fifty six hundred. Find the actual number of males in the village. So, it it is given that total population of village is five thousand, and after one year, number of male increases by ten percent, and female increases by fifteen percent. And population is also given after one year. That is fifty six hundred. And we have to find the number of males in the village. Actual number of males in the village. That is earlier how many males are there. So we have males and females. Male increases by ten percent, and female increases by fifteen percent. But we don't know total population increases by how much percent. But it is given that initial population is five thousand, and final population is fifty six hundred. Final population is fifty six hundred. So we can easily find the percentage increase in population. Percentage increases in population is fifty six hundred minus five thousand upon five thousand. Into hundred, as we did in our percentage section. So six hundred divided by five thousand into hundred. Three, two, five on the five, five twelve. 
that is 12. So percentage increase in population is 12%. So we can write here as 12%. Now we subtract 12 from 15. 15 minus 12 is 3. And 10, subtract 10 from 12. That is 12 minus 10 is 2. So we got 3 ratio 2. 3 plus 2 is 5. So we have to find the number of males, actual number of males in the village. So and males are 3 out of 5. So males will be 3 by 5 of actual number of males. So we will take 5000. 5 in the 5, 5 in the 1000. So we have 3000 males. We can also find the women. Women are 2 by 5 of 5000. That is 5 in the 5000. That is 2000 are female. That is our answer. Now move on to third question. A shopkeeper bought two varieties of rice at, at Rs. 60 per kg and Rs. 65 per kg respectively. He mixes and sells the mixture at Rs. 68.2 per kg and makes 10% profit overall. Find the ratio in which shopkeeper mixes two varieties of rice. So in this question, Cost price of two varieties of rice is given. First is of rupees 60 and other is of rupees 60. The shopkeeper then mixes and sells the mixture at rupees 68.2 per kg. That is, it is the selling price and makes 10% profit. And we have to find the ratio in which the shopkeeper mixes these two varieties. So, there are two ways to solve this question and I will show you both the methods and it's your choice which method you want to choose. So first method is using CP that is cost price. We have cost, we have two varieties first and second. Cost price of both the varieties of rice is given that is rupees 60 and rupees 65. And but we don't have the cost price of the mixture, but it is given selling price of we know the selling price of the mixture that is 68.2 and profit percent is also given that is 10 percent. So we can easily find the cost price of the mixture by these two quantities. Selling price will be 68.2 is equal to 100 plus profit percent that is 10 percent upon me 100 into CP so 68.2 will be 1 plus 1 by 10 into CP so 68.2 will be 11 by 10 into CP so CP will be 62 and we know the CP of the mixture, that is the CP of the mixture, then we note down here. And we can also check that 62 is greater than 60 and less than 65. So we subtract 62 from 65, 65 minus 62 is 3 and 62 minus 60 is 2. And no, now we get 3 ratio 2. So that is our answer. Now we use the second method. Second method is using selling price. We have two varieties, first and second. We don't know the selling price of the two varieties, but we know the selling price of the mixture that is 68.2. But we know profit on the mixture is 10% and cost price of these two varieties or is also given and if we can easily find the selling price of this two varieties by taking profit as 10 percent now cp is 60 and profit percent is 10 so we can easily find profit is 10 percent so we 10 percent of 60 is 6 and selling price become 60 plus 6 that is cost price plus profit so we get 66 
and cost price of this it is the cost price of the first variety and cost price of second variety is 65 and profit percentage 10 percent then 10 percent of 65 is 10% of 65 is 6.5 so we get selling price will be 65 plus 6.5 that is 71.5 now we have the selling price of the first variety and we have the selling price of the second variety now 66 we write down here 66 and 71.5 71.5 minus 68.2 is 3.3 and 68.2 minus 66 is 2.2 .2. so 11 into 3 is 0.3 and 11 into 2 that is 0 0.2 so points to point answer 3 ratio 2 that is our answer so you can use any method you want to use either you can use post price or you can use selling price now we move on to fourth question a dishonest milkman sells the milk at the cost price but he mixes the water freely available in it and thus he gains 20 percent find the quantity of water in the mixture of one liter so in this question it is given that the milkman sells the milk at cost price but mixes the water and gains 20 percent and we have to find how much water is added in the mixture of one liter so we have water and milk and first we find the ratio between the water and milk and then we can easily find the quantity of water in the mixture so water is freely available so its cost price is 0 and the cost price of milk is not given so let the cost price of milk be rupee 1 and we also don't know the cost price of the mixture which we have to write down here but in this question it is given that the cost price of milk is equal to selling price of mixture is equal to rupee 1 in our case and we know now we know the selling price of mixture and profit percent we also know that is 20 percent so we can easily find the cost price of mixture that is 1 is equal to 100 plus 20 by 100 into cp so 1 is equal to 1 plus 1 by 5 into cp now 1 into 5 by 6 is equal to cp that is 5 by 6 now we have cost price of the mixture we can write down here 5 by 6 and 1 minus 5 by 6 is 1 by 6 and 5 by 6 minus 0 is 5 by 6 so 1 by 6 is 6 cancel and we get 1 ratio 5 means 1 plus 5 is 6 means in 6 liter of mixture 1 liter is water and 5 liter is milk but we, we have to find the quantity of water in mixture of 1 liter so we have 1 by 6 water will be equal to 1 by 6 of 1 liter as 1000 ml so 1 by 6 of 1000 that is equal to 166.66 ml that is our answer that's it guys for this video if you have any doubt comment down below and as always, thanks for watching. This is Karthik Anand and I am signing out.